We've talked about clastic sedimentary rocks like sandstone and mudstone and shale that are formed by the cementation of small particles deposited at the surface. But there's another group of sedimentary rocks that we refer to as chemical sedimentary rocks. And as the name implies, they form by chemical processes. Certain minerals are soluble in water, like salt, sodium chloride, or uh, gypsum, calcium sulfate, or borax. And under the right physical and chemical conditions, those minerals can come out of solution and form deposits that later become a sedimentary rock. One good example of a chemical sedimentary rock you see right here next to me, this is travertine. Travertine is, is essentially a freshwater limestone. It's a rock that forms when calcium carbonate comes out of solution from groundwater. So in many places you have springs where groundwater charged with calcium uh, with calcium ions and also carbon dioxide comes out uh, at the surface and degasses and that causes calcite calcium carbonate to precipitate so chemically this rock is very similar to the limestones that are deposited on the sea floor and if I were to use hydrochloric acid it would fizz the same way but this is a rock that was formed by precipitation from solution at the surface on land